G'day everyone, my name is Dave, welcome to my channel. And today I wanna to try and answer the question, where is God when you need him the most? So, you know, just a small, simple, easy, light topic for today should be pretty simple. Well, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This is the place where I like to do short devotional videos every week that are designed to help you take the next practical step in your faith journey. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Go on, do it right now. I'll wait. Go on. 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 Something on the lens. And at the end of this episode, I'm gonna give all of you the chance to get involved in my next video and maybe even win a prize. So make sure you watch to the end. Okay, so where is God when you need him the most? Now, this is a great question because everyone watching this video has been through a dark time and wondered, where is God? Am I right? Well, to answer this question, I wanna tell you about the time I was in the Judean wilderness at sunrise. So I had hiked into the desert while it was still dark and I found these two shepherds tending to their flock. Now I bet some of you are already thinking, whatever, as if. But funny enough, that was one of the shepherds' names, as if. He and his sister were looking after their sheep near a little pen they had. And what I noticed was that while it was still dark, the two shepherds were in the middle of their flock, guiding the sheep by their presence amongst them. But then when the sun came up and everything got light, the two shepherds went to the front of the flock, leading the sheep from where where they could see them. Now to a normal person, this might not seem like a big deal, but as I've told you before, <laughs> I'm not normal. See, I noticed that the two shepherds were following the picture that's painted in Psalm 23. Because at the start of this ancient poem, the shepherd leads his sheep by still waters from the front of the flock. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. But when the sheep in the psalm enter into a dark place, the shepherd moves to be amongst them so that he can comfort the sheep. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now, I didn't even notice the change in language in the psalm until I was in the Holy Land experiencing it firsthand from these two kids. There's bits of dust everywhere. It's right there. When the sheep go into a valley or into a dark place, the shepherd moves to be beside them. So when you're going through a dark time in life and you're wondering where God is, he's not out in front of you, he's walking right beside you. I think sometimes we only realize this truth in hindsight. It's like Pastor Levi Lusco says, sometimes God's fingerprints are invisible until we see them in the rear view mirror. So if you're in a dark place today, I believe Jesus wants you to know that he is right beside you, comforting you. And I also believe that he wants all of us to be praying for you. So if you need prayer today, why don't you let me know in a comment and I'll respond. So now I've got a question for all of you. What do you want my next video to be about? Maybe you want me to unpack a particular verse or story in the Bible. Maybe you want me to talk about something practical like prayer or worship or how to study the Bible or how to serve people who are in need. Maybe you want a video that's church or technology related. Or maybe you just want to know how I get my hair to do this. I don't really know. Let me know in a comment and if I pick yours, you'll get a signed copy of my new book, 52 Hebrew Words Every Christian Should Know. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell icon so that you never miss an episode. See you next time.